Connie Canaday Howard is one of my go-to guests for updates on the world of theater at the MAC. She's back on the show today to give us an update on the next year for Buffalo Theater Ensemble season. Welcome back, Connie. Thank you. Well, it's an exciting day. The board approved two more years. Yes, it Congratulations. is. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Everybody worked really hard, so. We're all relieved and we're all really happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now we can start talking about next season. Yes. And announcing it. Yes. So let's hear it. What okay. do you have? So our first show in the fall is called The Ding Dong. I just or... happen to have this. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Or How the French Kiss. And it's an adaptation by Mark Shanahan. Um, we're the Chicago premiere of the show. Um, uh, and his is an adaptation of uh, Fado's farce Le Dindon. So it is a fabulous script that features five actors um, playing 13 roles in very um, extreme and improbable conditions. Um, it's set in France and it's... Uh, about uh, affairs, isn't it? Yeah. It's about a husband and wife who are happily married and all of the people who would like to be with them and um, the antics that happen when they start to not trust one another and ultimately realize how, how deeply committed they each are to each other. Um, uh, so it's a, you know, it involves people from other countries coming in and, and all kinds of antics. Typical farce where, where, you know, the audience knows more than the characters do at mm -hmm. any given time, it, it'll be a blast. It'll be a blast. Good. So, good. Are you directing that one? I am. Good. Are you look that's that's your you're good at the farces and you love I those, love don't farces. you? I love farces. Although I love lots of things. Sure. But, but yes, I love farces. And um, Robert Bailey from the ensemble and Kelly Walker are in it. Nice. And the other roles aren't cast yet. And we are building our um, our production team right now, um, Pauline Oleksi, who is designing a beautiful set for Outside Mullinger right now mm -hmm. that's about to open, is going to design this one. Um, Chris Cruz is doing original music for it, which will be hysterical. Um, uh, Rachel Lambert is doing costuming, um, uh, and the other positions are still open. Um, they've been offered but not confirmed, so it, it will be a hoot. I'm looking so, forward to that mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. I'm also really looking forward to Defiance because yes. that is written by the same author who wrote Doubt, who yes. I, and I love that play. Yes. So tell us about Defiance. Defiance is um, set in 1971. It's on a uh, base, military, a military base. base, and um, it's about the chief in command um, is uh, experiencing with people coming back from Vietnam is experiencing some racial tension. Um, he is white and um, he decides to promote a younger officer to his second in command who is African American. And um, uh, that man doesn't particularly want the promotion mm -hmm. but realizes that it is the best thing to do. Um, and then several things happen. The piece is about lots of things. It's about uh, communication and relationship and race and class structure, mm -hmm. um, uh, socioeconomic structure, um, gender things. Uh, it, it is a beautiful piece. And challenging um, those, mm -hmm, those things, right? He challenges mm -hmm. that. It is. Mm -hmm. So he's stuck between, do I say anything? Correct. And, or do the right thing. Correct. And I just got this promotion. Correct. Which we've all been in those situations, right. I think, at some point. Well, not right. really, but you know, you have those thoughts. Similar but, things, though. Right. I mean, you have where you know the, what's the right thing to do, but it's at great cost. Yeah. So um, can you do the right thing? And ultimately, everybody in the play ultimately does the right thing. Good. But with great consequence. So. That'll be a good one. It, it'll be great. Kurt Nabig, our ensemble member, is directing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Robert Bailey's in this one again, and Brian Burke is in this one, and the other roles are still to be cast. Um, uh, that production team is is being built, too. It, it's um, a gorgeous piece. And it's only 90 minutes, yeah. which is nice. Very right? fast-paced. Very fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you close with Miracle on South Division, which I think sounds like a hoot. Oh, it is. It is um, a heartwarming um, story about family, really, mm -hmm. and about um, uh, even, you know, when the going gets tough and you want to really slay the people that you love, ultimately it's those people that help you become stronger mm -hmm. and more grounded. Um, it's a, 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 an older adult mom and her adult children, and um, 
uh, her f father has had this um, memorial built to the Virgin Mary. Um, uh, and it became sort of a shrine in Buffalo, New York um, after World War II. And um, uh, people would come and, and you know pray and ask uh, special gifts and blah, 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 leave things for the Virgin Mary. And, um, and the grandkids now, um, ha one of them has decided she's going to be an actress. She wants to write a one-person show showcasing her life story. And part of that was some truth that her grandmother told her on her deathbed. So the wife of the man who built the statue. And um, that truth, if it, if it actually is true, changes who they think they are. Um, uh, what they have grounded themselves in, even their background. Um, uh, and it's a really, really funny and moving piece. A big reveal at the end too, Correct. right? Correct, yes. So there's a nice twist and yes. surprise ending that we cannot yes. tell anybody yes. about. that's right. And Steve Scott, um, from our friend from The Good Men is directing this one. Oh, how wonderful, so, he's gonna come back. Yes. yes. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Connie, when you are choosing your season and your, and your casting, do you first just make calls to certain directors that you like, or, mm -hmm. or is that how you start mm -hmm. when you start casting? We, um, we look at uh, the ensemble, um, and then we look at the piece and, um, and where it is in the slot in terms of the year and weigh lots of different things. But if we decide that it's going to be an outside director, um, which we think is important for us to mm -hmm. do, um, uh, then we think about who who has the right hand for this mm -hmm. kind of piece um, and find out if they're available or not. And um, we have uh, just, you know, a plethora. Chicago co theater community is a very warm and um, supportive mm -hmm. uh, place to be. So there are lots of people who are our friends. Good. So, yeah. It sounds like such a great season. It is. It is. And you can actually subscribe. Yes. Very, right now. That's right. Real soon. That's right. And if you subscribe, you get 25% off. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So subscribe. Do it today. <laughs> Outside Mullinger will run May 3rd through June 3rd in the Playhouse Theater. For tickets or more information, call the box office at 630-942-4000 or visit atthemac.org. That's all the time we have for today, but be sure to tune in next month for more interviews and conversations about the art scene at the MAC. I'm Diana Martinez, and thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you at the theater and next time on Backstage Buzz.